Hey everybody, I want to talk to you guys about this video that went viral a couple of weeks ago. This guy Randy, he made a couple of mistakes with his grill and the lid blew off and it got attention from the media and it just, I mean, it went viral on the internet. Uh, there are a couple hundred thousand views on Facebook. One of the things that Randy mentions in his interview with the media is that the grill shut off and then he started the grill. That's a huge no-no. If you own a pellet grill, never, ever, ever do that. That. focus of this video is going to be how a pellet grill uh, gets up to temperature, how it ignites the pellets, and what you need to do anytime your grill shuts off with an error or loses power and is not able to shut down properly. Check the burn pot before restarting. The errors are there for a reason. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the grill. I'm just going to set it to 350 just so you can see how the pellets feed into the fire pot. I want you to see what the grill goes through in order to get a fire started, in order to better understand what happened to that guy's grill. You can just ignore the random mixture of pecan and char hickory pellets that I've got rolling into the fire pot now. What happens when a grill starts up, the auger goes full speed and is going to dump as many pellets as it can into the fire pot before that igniter goes. It's been about a minute and we can see a lot more pellets in the fire pot and you can also see that the igniter is going. What I want you to learn from this segment of the video is that when you push the power button the auger goes full speed loads as many pellets as it can into the auger and after a certain period of time the igniter ignites and the grill runs as normal what I'm going to do now is simulate either a flame out or a power outage and I'm just gonna unplug the grill what we're doing here is simulating a power outage or a flame out you can see here that there's still a lot of pellets in that fire pot it's kind of hard to see because of the smoke but it's in there now keep in mind when you started up the grill the first time the auger went full speed and loaded a lot of pellets into the fire pot and then ignited it. So what happens when you have a flame out or a power outage, you've still got these unburnt pellets here in the fire pot. The reason that that happens is because the grill wasn't able to go through its normal shutdown procedure. When you hit the power button on a pellet grill, it goes through a shutdown sequence. On the grill grill silverback, it's gonna go through C5, C4, C3, C2, until the grill shuts off. During the shutdown sequence, the fan is gonna keep running and it's gonna do its best to burn up all of the unburnt pellets in the fire pot. This is what the fire pot should look like after a proper shutdown procedure. You see, there's really no whole pellets in there. It's just a little bit of ash. Let's go back and look at the starter procedure again. You can see that the auger is pushing a lot of pellets into that fire pot to build that really nice fire. When you don't go through the proper shutdown procedure, what happens is you've got all those pellets left over from before the flame out or before the power outage or before you unplug the grill for whatever reason. And your auger is going to feed even more pellets on top of the pellets that are already in the fire pot. And that's what can cause these explosions. The guy in the video with the Traeger grill, it's not Traeger's fault. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm the first one who wants to jump on Traeger, right? But I can't. What happened to Randy's Traeger grill can happen to a propane grill, can happen to a gas oven. If you have natural gas in your house, it can happen to that. It can happen to your oil furnace. There are certain safety procedures that you need to follow if you're burning any kind of fuel. Anytime your grill shuts off with an error or loses power and is not able to shut down properly, check the burn pot before restarting. The errors are there for a reason. So let's be clear here, this is user error, 100%. The guy admits that his grill shut down unexpectedly and he pushed the power button again. So he had too many pellets in the fire pot. When that happens, you've got too much fuel, which causes that explosion. This doesn't happen every time, but it can happen. When you try to restart your grill with a pot that has residual fuel, the airflow is restricted. Therefore, it cannot breathe properly. It's like throwing a huge pile of leaves on a fire. It will smoke like crazy. Smoke has gases in it. Once the pellets do ignite, all of these gases will ignite, just like leaving the gas on your grill too long with the lid shut. As you're trying to get the igniter to ignite, as the gas builds, the electric igniter does ignite, you can get a small explosion. Opening a lid on any grill, propane, pellet, or otherwise during startup is good and safe practice. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you can, subscribe, like the video, help me uh, build more YouTube content.